Eva. Yes? The time has finally come. What happened to your voice? Damn it! Can't you at least let me try to be cool once? Once. Please. For once. God. Today, I am finally comfortable with my no former vote versus infested melee only build. And I'll be showing it off to you. Take it away, my digital friend. First, you will need a max fortitude placed in the dash polarity slot. Fortitude gives you 20% chance to resist knockdown and plus 80% shield recharge rate. Given that this build relies heavily on shields, fortitude is a must. Next is narrow minded. It gives you plus 81% power duration while sacrificing minus 54% power range. Range isn't really a factor in this build, but power duration is, so narrow minded is a good choice. Next is Retribution. This mod gives a 60% chance to do electrical damage when shields are struck by melee enemies. The electrical damage mentioned comes with a tiny duration stun, giving you just enough time to retreat or attack. The Syndica mod, Shocking Speed, if an enemy is within 3 meters of Volt while he's on the move, will take electrical damage and a 100% chance to be stunned. Shocking Speed is the backbone of this build. It allows Volt to unleash his supercharged melee attacks on groups of stunned enemies, while greatly reducing his chances of being hit. Max Redirection adds a plus 440% to shield capacity. Shields are what makes this build strong, and that strength is amplified by fortitude and retribution. Max Vitality adds a plus 440% to health. On low to medium rank missions, this vitality should be switched with Vigor, because the more shields the better, but in higher level infested missions, there are very dangerous poison clouds and auras to look out for. Blind Rage gives a plus 81% to power strength and a minus 45% to power efficiency. The Blind Rage is only here to increase the attack speed and the movement speed buff, and nothing else. Primed Continuity adds a plus 50% to power duration. Remember. The more duration, the better. Finally, still charge in the aura slot. This increases melee damage by 60% and also gives you plus 18 to mob capacity. In a melee only build, extra melee damage is always a plus. A little tip is to always keep your sentinel equipped. And on this sentinel you should have guardian and coolant leak. Coolant leak slows enemies just a tiny bit once they get too close and Guardian automatically restores your shields to full once they go down. Remember, this build focuses on shields, shields, shields. Did I mention shields? To wrap this video up, we will now play an unedited, uncut, video clip of the 15th wave on Satura infested defense. Most enemies on this wave were level 50 to 60.
Always the fucking digital people. Hey, that's racist. You're not a race. You're an appliance. Like a calculator. Or a microwave. Look, I'm sorry I stole your thunder earlier. I didn't know, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm just messing with you.